Well, a picture circulating online and posted to Reddit shows another anti-Semitic sign plastered prominently this weekend in downtown Jacksonville. And now some council members are demanding change and they're taking action. On your side, Taylor Levesque has more on their proposed legislation. Taylor? A council member Rory Diamond says he will file a bill this week aiming to prevent symbols of hate being projected on private property and other council members are getting involved hoping to pass similar bills. Considering that Jacksonville keeps on being attacked by these messages, clearly we have to get together, get to the root of it and stop it. The latest message, this picture of a swastika that appears to be projected onto the CSX building in downtown Jacksonville. First Coast News has not been able to independently confirm the legitimacy of this photo, but council member Rory Diamond says enough is enough and is cracking down on hate projected on private property in Jacksonville. Here we're talking about property rights and look, you don't have a right to put a bumper sticker on somebody else's car. You don't have a right to project an image on somebody else's building and we're just going to make sure that's what the law says. You can't do that. And he isn't the only one stepping forward. Jacksonville City Councilman Matt Carlucci says he and mayoral candidate Leanna Cumber will be introducing legislation Wednesday that would make it unlawful for someone to project an image on city property without express approval. In a statement, CSX says it quotes, condemns in the strongest terms the anti-Semitic symbol depicted on the images of our building on January 14th. It's happening too much. And what's, what's worse is they're projecting this on people's property without their permission. Diamond says his bill will ensure punishment for those caught in the act. We want these cowards to come out into the light and be honest, put their name on this. If they're going to have this message, why don't they put their name on it? But this bill would make it both a civil crime and a criminal crime to do this again in Jacksonville. Diamond expects his bill will earn support from other members. He says once it is filed, the public will be able to participate in a series of discussions to improve its language. In the studio, Taylor Mulback, First Coast News, on your side.